We have a scientific mystery on our hands. Today, the average temperature on Earth is approximately 13.9 degrees Celsius or 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet, during Earth's 4.543 billion year-long history, it has been much hotter and much colder, causing our world at times to look completely foreign from a modern-day perspective. For example, just 3 million years after Earth's initial formation, the entire planet was molten and covered with lava, with temperatures averaging 1980 degrees Celsius or 3600 degrees Fahrenheit, with these temperatures having been generated from numerous large-scale and frequent asteroid and comet impacts. Or, during the very early Triassic period, when many towering dinosaurs roamed the planet, Earth was much like a greenhouse with temperatures at the equator averaging more than 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Or, in the geologic period before the first complex life developed during what is known as the Cryogenian period, Earth was largely covered in several miles thick of ice and glaciers with only a very narrow band of not continuously frozen ground at the equator, with average temperatures being approximately negative 10 degrees Celsius or 14 degrees Fahrenheit. With this being said, the causes of these long-term climactic fluctuations are fairly well established. Yet, the same cannot be said of a mysterious and unusual temperature spike which occurred a mere 56 million years ago. The spike can be observed via this edited chart, where a sudden pinpoint spike is visible right at the boundary of the Paleocene and Eocene epochs. Although this chart might underestimate the intensity of this climactic fluctuation, it appears that in a 50,000 year period, the average global temperatures jumped from 25 to a sweltering 33 degrees Celsius before cooling back to 25 degrees Celsius again. While 8 degrees Celsius might not sound like a lot of change during such a long period, this unusual event, which is referred to as the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, represented the most intense temperature spike Earth had experienced in the preceding 190 million year long period. And for a long time, scientists did not know why this occurred. As a result, numerous hypotheses were made including a sudden and dramatic methane release around the planet that caused a positive feedback loop, a series of flood basalts and large magmatic intrusions offshore of southeastern Greenland, or even the possibility that it was all triggered by a large asteroid impact. After all, the mysterious Hiawatha impact crater that measured 31 kilometers across or 19.3 miles wide had initial evidence which suggested it formed around the same time as a sudden temperature spike. However, this was later disproven as the impact event was too old, having occurred 57.99 million years ago. However, there is now a relatively new theory which not only seems like the best fit to explain this extreme climactic anomaly in my opinion, but might actually be correct. This might sound strange, but the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum might have occurred due to the sudden appearance of millions of diamonds. As, the reason relates to how exactly those aforementioned diamonds were emplaced as it involved a specific very rare type of volcanism which placed a rare and prized type of rock, kimberlite. While the vast majority of the planet's igneous rocks contain more than 50% by weight silicon dioxide, kimberlites generally only contain about 25% by weight silicon dioxide. But most important is that when kimberlite magmas form deep under the stable cratons of crust where diamonds can also form, they can contain as much as 40% by weight carbon dioxide. That is an absurdly high figure. Carbon dioxide is considered a volatile in the context of volcanoes, and thus, the more carbon dioxide a volcano's magma contains, the more explosive an associate eruption will be. Thus, as kimberlite magma intrudes into the crust, sometimes carrying diamonds with it, it often moves at supersonic speeds upwards, being propelled by the absurdly high levels of carbon dioxide present. After reaching the surface, a powerful, largely upward plinian eruption occurs, which, in addition to ejecting numerous diamonds if they were present at the eruption site, also emits large amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. It is thus believed that a majority, perhaps as many of 200 of the 235 kimberlite pipes in one of the planet's largest kimberlite fields in Canada's Northwest Territories, erupted in rapid succession during a 10,000-year period. This emitted 1,100 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which then caused methane to be released as part of a positive feedback loop elsewhere on the planet. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. 
Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.